From the outside, it looks a bit like a parking deck for a high-end shopping mall. But this concrete structure serves a higher purpose. It's a vertical cemetery. Specifically, it's an expansion of the Yarkon Cemetery on the outskirts of Tel Aviv. The Associated Press reports its regular 150-acre property is near capacity, but this new structure will be able to provide resting places for 250,000 more graves, enough space to bury people here for the next 25 years. In fact, this structure is now the default option for this region's newly departed. It represents an adaptation by Jewish religious authorities to the lack of land problem. Like most Muslims and Eastern Orthodox Christians, Orthodox and conservative Jews oppose cremation. Though there'll be cement rather than sky above these graves, rabbis have ruled this burial method kosher, says Rabbi Avraham Manella. According to Halakha, Jewish law, this solution goes 2,000 years back. He's referring to the ancient practice of laying the departed to rest in caves. According to Jewish law, all bodies must be buried separately on a layer of dirt. According to the AP, these towers have pipes filled with dirt inside their columns, thus connecting each level of the building to the ground. Other societies are being forced to find solutions to cemetery overcrowding. In this Lebanese graveyard, families are increasingly being buried in the same grave. In Santos, Brazil, what looks like it could be a new condo complex is another vertical cemetery. And like the one being built in Israel, it's an effort to maintain tradition and dignity for the departed without encroaching further on space for the living.